Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A spoiled millionaire dog ends up getting lost in the city and has to fight to survive while looking for someone who can take him back home. Today we'll recap the story of the 2019 movie, Trouble. In a mansion located at the top of the hill, lives a dog named Trouble. That morning, James the butler goes to his room to wake him up and Trouble is desperate to see a butterfly land on his nose, believing the insect will attack him. Since he was a puppy, he has lived in the mansion together with Sarah Vanderhoosie, a millionaire and very friendly old lady. As a widow and childless, the dog has become her only family and Sarah loves him as if he were a son. As a result of this, Trouble has become the most pampered dog in the world. Every morning, after waking up, he is visited by his spiritual mentor to do a meditation. Then his beauty treatment begins. After filing his nails and brushing his teeth, the dog is ready for another day of fun with his owner. Together, they enjoy a relaxing massage at the spa. Afterwards, Trouble will enjoy a sunny day by the pool. Every time he relieves himself on the grass in the garden, James sprays perfume on him because the thing Trouble hates most is feeling dirty and smelly. During dinner, while Sarah eats a slice of pizza, the dog enjoys the rest of the box and so he becomes more and more pampered, until one day absolutely everything changes. The lady passed away and in the same week, her nephews, who hadn't visited her for years, arrived at the mansion to receive the inheritance. James appears at the door to answer them. At that time, Claire and Norbert decide to do a brief drama to pretend they care about their aunt's death. But the acting doesn't last long and soon they begin to make their first demands. As they check the value of each item in the mansion, they meet trouble. The dog jumps on Claire's lap, but the woman is not happy with this reception and orders Norbert to take that fleabag off her. Just then, Trouble is shooed out of his own house. Minutes later, Norbert appears with a box containing the animal's toys. All of them were crated and placed inside the bed of a truck, along with Mrs. Vanderhoosie's. Upon seeing this, Trouble climbs into the vehicle, in an attempt to retrieve his favorite toy. At that moment, the doors close and the truck begins to move. In the mansion's office, Mr. McBain meets with Sarah's nephews to watch the video of the will. In the recording, the woman reveals that she decided to leave her fortune to her only living relatives, Claire and Norbert. However, there was one condition. They would have to take care of Mrs. Vanderhoosie's biggest friend, the dog trouble. That was Sarah's only request, but Claire is unwilling to grant it. The woman says she hates dogs and the lawyer says that, by refusing to take care of the animal, they would be giving up their fortune. Upon hearing this, Claire immediately changes her mind and Mr. McBain reveals that Ms. Vanderhoosie made it clear in their will that their nephews should spend a few days bonding with their dog. If after that they were happy together, they could sign the documents to receive the inheritance. Before leaving, the man says he will return on Monday to see how their relationship is going. Claire starts to make a plan. She intends to befriend the dog until the inheritance documents are signed. After that, she would take him directly to the kennel. Meanwhile, Trouble's worst nightmare was coming true. The animal was being flung around inside the moving truck and its fur was completely dirty. Until then, he hadn't realized that Sarah had passed away, until he saw that all the items she loved most were inside that trunk. At that time, the dog loses its hope. To make matters worse, a squirrel sneaks in front of the truck. The driver makes a sudden maneuver in an attempt to avoid the animal and the body doors open, causing trouble to be thrown out. The dog ends up falling in the middle of the forest and, the next morning, is found by a squirrel. He spent the night trapped in a tree and decided to take a nap until someone came to rescue him. The rodent calls some friends to help him get the dog out of there, after all, that was the tree where they were storing nuts for the winter. Seconds after taking the animal out of the hole, the nuts start to come out of hiding and end up falling over the cliff, causing months of work to be wasted. Seeing this disaster, the squirrels begin to surround trouble and steal his leash. When he finally manages to get out of that place, the dog arrives in town and his nose guides him to a sausage truck. While eating, he comes across Rousey, a stray dog who had stolen that food and is furious to see it being devoured by another dog. After returning the sausages, Trouble tries to escape and ends up knocking over some boxes. The truck's owner appears and, while fleeing, the duo ends up inside a restaurant, causing a major disaster. Once outside, they are nearly run over by Zoe Bell, who was riding her pink motorcycle to earn money as a pizza delivery. When breaking sharply, one of the pizzas ends up falling to the floor. As she had missed her breakfast, Rousey decides to steal the box and run away, and Trouble goes after her. At the mansion, Norbert looks everywhere for the dog, but he can't find him. So, the duo decide to go to the forest looking for Thurman Sanchez, the guy who can track any animal. When Norbert says he needs to find his dog, Thurman soon picks up some hairs that were on the man's clothes and, through the smell, is able to identify all the dog's characteristics. Claire then hands the weirdo a picture of Trouble and the man promises he'll find him by Monday morning. 
As Rousey is eating and Trouble is trying to get a slice of the pizza, the squirrels appear once more. The gang intends to steal the dog's pizza, as he has wasted all his nuts. As Rousey has already eaten until her belly is full, she decides to let Trouble fend for himself with those rodents. When he arrives in the forest with his trailer, Thurman starts sniffing the dog and realizes that he was there. Meanwhile, Zoe tries to explain the incident to the owner of the pizzeria, but the man doesn't accept her apology and claims that he will deduct the pizza from the girl's salary. Later, when she gets home, the young woman decides to sign up for an authorial music competition. Her biggest dream is to be a singer, but in the meantime, she needs to do some odd jobs to pay the rent. Now, her mission is to compose a song by Monday. The next morning, after spending the night in the woods with Rousey, Trouble spots a dog park and is excited to go there to play. In an attempt to get rid of him, the dog advises him to go to the park and ask those dogs to help him find his way back home. Trouble soon tries to fit in but is startled to realize that all the dogs have gathered to sniff him. Having only lived with humans his entire life, Trouble had no idea that this is typical behavior for dogs to recognize each other. Norm is surprised to find that Trouble's backside smells like perfume and calls his gang to show them how dogs clean their own backs. Trouble decides to try the same thing and ends up discovering a new pleasure in rubbing into the grass. Meanwhile, Gizmo hatches a plan to get rid of that new dog. As Trouble is missing its leash, the animal concludes that it is a stray dog. But Trouble has a good look and his back smells like Tutti Frutti. Gizmo's biggest fear is that his human wants to take Trouble home. If that happened, they would have to share absolutely everything. Norm comes to believe his friend's paranoia and decides to help him get rid of the new dog. He tells Trouble that without a leash he was in danger of being sent to the kennel. To avoid this, he would need someone to take him home and the easiest way to be adopted is to get in front of cars. According to Norm, people are touched by the sight of a puppy almost being run over in the street and Trouble decides to risk his own life. After nearly getting run over dozens of times, Zoe shows up on her motorcycle and recognizes Trouble as the dog that stole her pizza. Feeling sorry for the animal, she decides to take him home until she finds a place for him. Upon arriving home, the girl hides Trouble in her thermos bag before the owner finds him. In addition to being behind on rent, in that building, animals are prohibited. The owner claims that if Zoe didn't pay him by the end of the week, she would be evicted. After entering her house, the girl rummages through the fridge looking for leftover food to give the dog. Trouble is hungry but refuses to eat that disgusting noodles Zoe served him. Instead, the dog decides to rub its rear end on the carpet, as his friends at the park taught him. However, this makes Zoe very angry and she decides to throw him out with the noodles. Minutes later, Rousey appears and devours all the food. The dog realizes that Trouble was saved by the pizza delivery girl and proposes a deal. If he helped her get pizza, she'd help him survive on the streets, but Trouble doesn't want that. The dog believes that Zoe is a good person and will welcome him back home. Then Rousey leaves and some stray cats emerge from inside the garbage cans. Frightened, Trouble starts barking and the girl lets him in, otherwise the two would be evicted. That night, the dog kept the girl company while she composed her music and even got a few slices of pizza. Zoe has been lonely for a long time, but now she has a new companion. After taking some pictures together, the girl uses some ribbons to make a collar for him, causing trouble to no longer be considered a stray dog. The next morning, Zoe takes him for a walk in the park and the dog thanks his friends for helping him find a home. At that time, the squirrels appear to hunt for trouble. Seeing his colleague in danger, Norm and his gang decide to help him get his old collar back. While the animals fight over who will get the object, Thurman appears and recognizes Trouble from the photo. He tries to capture the dog and puts it in a bag. His friends run after the man. But in fact, the animal has not been captured and Zoe takes it back home. When Thurman goes to check the bag, he discovers that he made a mistake and ended up catching a squirrel. So he asks for their help to capture the dog in exchange for thousands of nuts. A few hours later, Zoe leaves for work and Trouble is home alone. At that moment, the squirrels invade the apartment and make a big mess. The dog tries to stop them, but the rodents are faster and, after destroying the place, they lock the animal inside the closet. A short time later, Zoe appears and is desperate to see her home destroyed. As if it wasn't enough that she no longer had a decent place to live, her guitar had been broken and she could no longer participate in the competition. The girl hears a noise coming from the closet and frees Trouble. At that time, the owner appears and says that the young woman is evicted from that apartment. After causing so much trouble, the dog decides to leave, but is kidnapped by the apartment owner and taken directly to the kennel. There, he finds Rousey, who had been captured. The dog claims that she knew that sooner or later it would happen, as humans are not to be trusted. She says that, a few years ago, she had a family that supposedly loved her. One day, the couple's son ran into the street and was about to be run over, 
but Rousey managed to save him. When his parents realized, the boy was crying across the street and they blamed Rousey for what happened. A few hours later, the kennel doors open and Trouble is convinced that Zoe is coming to rescue him. But instead, Thurman appears, rips off the dog's collar and takes him away. Rousey is worried and then Zoe arrives at the scene. Seeing the sadness on the girl's face, the dog decides to help her find Trouble. But for that, she would need to devise a plan to get out of that place. Meanwhile, at the mansion, Thurman appears and delivers Trouble to Claire. Then he asks for his payment so he can leave. However, the woman claims that she will not pay him a penny and this was undoubtedly her biggest mistake. Back at the kennel, a lady appears looking for a friend and Rousey realizes this is her chance to escape. When the old lady approaches, the dog starts barking and the other dogs bark right after. Frightened, the woman starts to back away and accidentally presses the button that releases all the cages. Before fleeing, Rousey takes her friend's leash and heads to the park, where Zoe has been putting up posters to try to find her friend. The dog enlists the help of the other dogs in the park to locate trouble and then takes the leash to the girl. Zoe soon gets the message and follows Rousey along with the other dogs. At that time, Mr. McBain arrives at the mansion to check that everything is going well between Mrs. Vanderhoosey and the dog trouble. Claire claims that everything went very well over the weekend and they became great friends. Since nothing seems to be wrong, the lawyer believes the woman's words and begins signing the paperwork. However, before Claire and Norbert can sign the documents, Zoe rings the doorbell and is answered by James. The girl tells the butler that she has reason to believe her dog is in that house. After seeing the poster with the photo of the two together, the man allows her to enter the mansion. Meanwhile, Thurman meets with the squirrels and devises a strategy to get revenge on Claire, as the woman refused to pay him for the service. His plan is to kidnap the dog and keep him until he gets his money. What the squirrels don't count is that the other dogs that were in the kennel along with Rousey and Trouble are on the prowl and go after them. Just as Claire was about to get her dirty hands on Sarah's fortune, James appears and announces Zoe's arrival. Upon seeing the girl, Trouble is extremely happy. Zoe says she found him on the streets the week before and has been taking care of him ever since. Claire claims that the young woman is lying and, at that moment, Thurman appears. The man says he was hired to find that little brat and was after him all week. Upon hearing this, the lawyer states that the contract will be annulled because the duo did not fulfill their only responsibility, which was to take care of the most precious asset of their late aunt. The squirrels invade the room and charge for trouble, but the kennel dogs show up to help him. The animals start fighting and James leaves the room. Then, Rousey enters the mansion and rushes to save Trouble, who was about to have his head ripped off by the fan. The dog tidies up that mess and orders the squirrel to return her friend's collar. Then put the gang out. Trouble is extremely happy to see her and surprised to learn that she took the risk to save him. Rousey then says that that dog's place is next to Zoe, as the girl really loved him and looked for him everywhere. Finally, the dog thanks Trouble for reminding her of who she is. Rousey had despised humans for so long since being abandoned that she couldn't even remember what it was like to feel loved. But when Zoe went to the kennel looking for trouble, the dog could see in her eyes all the love she felt for him. This made Rousey also believe that one day she could be loved again. Before leaving, Mr. McBain asks Trouble to decide who will be his guardian. Upon hearing this, Claire, Norbert and Thurman start calling for the dog, but the animal grabs its leash and runs into Zoe's arms. At that time, the lawyer claims that Ms. Vanderhoosey always wanted that after her death, Trouble would be with someone who loved him and gave him a happy home. As the dog had already found that person, what was missing was just to make the adoption official. After signing the papers, the girl would not only have Trouble, but all of Mrs. Vanderhoosey's fortune. Now, with all that money, the girl decided to open the Vanderhoosey dog park, where she put a statue in honor of Sarah and her dog. At the opening, Zoe decides to play a song of her own and ends up getting the attention of a music producer who was there with his dog. As the dogs enjoyed their new space, Rousey was next to James, her new owner. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.